Last year this time, I did a short video around how I set up my weight loss tracker. I put on a couple of extra pounds and I had put together a plan on how I was going to get rid of those. This year, however, I have signed up with a personal trainer and I'm going once a week. And this time is a little bit different because now I'm, I'm kind of holding myself accountable by going to the personal trainer. I'm getting pretty serious about my goals and it's not as though I want to lose weight or I want to uh, grow some muscle. Essentially, I just want to become fitter because I've noticed that as I'm getting older, my fitness is declining and I'm finding I'm out of breath a lot more often. So this is my way to make sure that I'm really filling up my self-care space and making sure that I have that, that, that kind of fitness level that I'm kind of expecting and I'm not finding right now. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I've set up my goals, what kind of fitness things we're going to track in my bullet journal, the exercises and food related things that I'm also going to be tracking, also how I'm going to be keeping track of my wellness and mental health and all the things I'm doing around self-care as well because being a healthier me doesn't just mean that I'm getting fit, it also means that I'm kind of getting mentally fit as well. I am definitely not a trained personal trainer or a fitness guru so I'm just sharing my experience and the journey that I'm on. That doesn't mean that you need to follow it to the letter, it's more important for you to find something that works for you and also for you to speak to a professional if that's something that you need to do as well. I would love to know in the comments below how you track your wellness and fitness. Maybe we can learn from each other if you share them in the comments below. Now it would be amazing if you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you can keep on track and you can follow me through this journey because I am going to do a follow up video as to how this process has been going. It'll probably be in about 12 weeks from now because I've set myself a 12 week goal but it would be great if you could come back and see how that's going. Now, by now, you'll know that I run a blog called My Inner Creative. And on the blog, we have hundreds of theme examples for you to try out. You can see that right over here, I've got a little screenshot of what that looks like. And they're all alphabetized or in themes. So you can find hundreds of those themes ready to go for your sort of inspiration. The other thing we have is a whole bunch of freebies on the site. Now, if you drop down into the description below, you'll find the link to subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you'll get access to all of the freebies we have on our site. It's pretty easy. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a goals page. I'm going to be working from the back of my notebook to the front of my notebook. And I want to set up at least a couple of goals pages so that I know what it is that I am working towards. So I'm going to use some stickers to make it as easy as possible for myself. And I'm going to choose some really bright pastel -y colors to make it look really cute as well. The other thing I'm going to do to make this look a little bit more fun is I'm going to add a couple more stickers. Easy. Now let's put this into our monthly calendar. All right, we're gonna set up a calendar first. I'm going to put out 12 weeks, maybe even 16 weeks, just so that I have a little bit of extra time up front. Then what I'm going to do is once I've got my calendar drawn into my journal, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pop in the days that I'm seeing the personal trainer, which is gym days, and then they're giving me a workout for home, so I'm gonna pop those in as well. I'm also going to state which days are holidays and which days are rest days, just to make it easy for myself as well. I'm 
I'm also including days that I'm going to go for big walks and days we're going to go tramping or hiking. Again, comment below with the way that you track your health and wellness. I'd be fascinated to know and I hope that we can all learn from each other and really create a warm community to discuss it. We're on to the final stage of the setup and what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a tracker for December. This is going to include mood, energy levels, sleep. This is also going to include um, the things that I'm supposed to be doing, so eating breakfast, which I'm terrible at, as well as some of the other mental health things that I'm really, you know, finding really important and making sure that we're tracking all of those so that we can have really a good overview of whether or not I am practicing the self care that I'm setting myself those goals for. Okay, I am in the home stretch and this part here, I'm going to put the two um, fitness plans that my personal trainer has given me. I'm going to put those on this spread and I'm going to have a four week at a time process. So for all of December, for all of January, etc. And I'm, she's given me two home plans to focus on. So I'm going to write down the first one as well as how many reps or seconds I need to do the activity for. And then we're going to track that over the four weeks and just make sure that we are um, keeping track of those and letting her know if I'm able to do them at home as well.
Let's dive in to the 11 amazing spreads that I have collected together to share with you for some additional inspiration. I know how daunting it can be to get started. So don't freak out. We've got tons of freebies and resources online as we mentioned earlier. So just head into the description below and you'll find the subscribe link. Subscribe to that and we would be willing and more than happy to send you as much information as we can. Um, what's really exciting is I'm looking forward to sharing with you the blog that we did around fitness, wellness, and weight loss. So have a look at the blog and there is over 71 examples examples of how you can do that in your bullet journal and the types of pages that you can have in there too. Thank you so much for joining me today. It has been quite a journey and I'm hoping that you can take something from this that you can use in your bullet journal for 2021. At some point we're going to have to make 2021 better and I'm hoping this is one step towards that. It will help us focus in on our mental health, our well-being and our self-care. So I'm looking forward to seeing how you use these and see you next time.